had a two-picture commitment uh, with Paramount Studios and Hart Koch, who at that time was in charge there. And uh, we made, uh, made the one, None But the Brave, with Frank uh, Sinatra. And uh, then Howard said, Clint, we're having trouble finding that second picture. And if they didn't find it in time, it was pay or play. In other words, if they didn't find a vehicle, they had to pay me anyway. Well, I wanted to make the money, but I didn't want to do it for nothing. I preferred to make a picture. And at that time, I had uh, picked up a little paperback uh, book on Howard Hill, who was the world's greatest archer or bowman at that time. And he told a story, it was just a page and a half, about a, a, a huge old grizzly bear uh, called Slewfoot. Double back on us, Sam! Down, Sam! because he'd evidently caught his uh, foot in a trap at one time and lost a couple of toes getting out of it. Maybe that's what made him so mean, I don't know. But uh, anyhow, he was a mean bear, and he would wade into a herd of sheep and kill them all, just for the sheer love of killing. <laughs> Anyhow, Hard liked the idea. He said, well, it doesn't sound half bad. He said, uh, who do you know, a professional writer that you'd like to work with? And I said, well, uh, how about Warren Douglas? You know, I've worked with him on some of the Cheyennes. He's a good writer. And he said, okay, we'll put you both on the payroll. Let's see what you come up with. Well, of course, Warren, being the, the pro, did most of the work. But uh, we worked well together, and I, that's uh, uh, how Night of the Grizzly came into being. And we had Joe Pevney as a director. We had Bert Dunn, who had uh, uh, worked with me on a lot of the Cheyennes uh, to act as producer. Old Satan, it's gonna be a long, mean summer. When Hard finally read the script, he said, I like it. He said, let's do it. So it, fortunately, because it was my story idea, I had a lot to say about uh, the, the actors. Leo uh, was the heavy and Nancy Culp. Beautiful dreamer. Nancy Culp was so good. And Jack Elam and Regis Toomey and Keenan Wynn, all good people. I'd never worked with Ron Ely before or Med Flory. Just a great cast. And of course, we did it up at Big Bear. Beautiful, beautiful country there. And you could believe it. at one time there were grizz grizzlies there, which is why they call it Big Bear. All right, come on, Hank. Come on. This here Mr. Cole wants to buy himself some stock. It's worth a dollar to him if you show him around. For a dollar, can I just point? When I. Uh, told him that I'd like to have Jack Elam for the uh, uh, the lovable handyman. They said, you got to be kidding. He's a heavy. And I said, I know Jack. He may be a heavy, but he's also an actor. And you would love him in this part. And of course, everybody did. Getting into April, just about time for old Satan to start stirring. Yes, sir, just about that time. Old uh, Satan? 1,500 odd pounds of the meanest, wickedest animal this side of Hades. Sounds like a grizzly. Looks like a grizzly. But folks around here are beginning to think he's a devil himself. Well, I've had truck with grizzlies before. They won't give you any trouble unless, unless you, you ask, ask for, for it. it. Old Satan don't wait for no invitation. He comes around looking for it. Winchester 4440 ought to take care of him. It hasn't yet. You seen him? No, I've been lucky. But I've seen his work. 
He kills just for the wicked fun of it. What about traps? That devil's busted up every trap was ever laid for. He gets the bait out, too. If that beast ain't Lucifer in person, he's sure his first cousin. He's got the heart of a cougar, and he can outthink any man ever born. You better believe that. Speaking of the devil, if it ain't Jed Curry. He likes to get what he wants, and he sure wants this land. Don't let him spook you. Uh, nobody's gonna spook me, Cotton. I'm here to stay. Greeting! Boys, right here. Thought we'd drop out and have a friendly chat. And, uh, Refreshing, friendly drink. Best in the county. Almost two months old. Two months? The Booze Bandits. This is my whiskey. Bought and paid for. Anybody going to pour a drink, it's going to be me. Now, any of you fellers like a drink? What is this man, some kind of a lunatic? Careful of the bottles, Tad. Sam, what in the world is the matter with you? Now look what you've done. Look what i done. Are you... Quiet, hold it, Sam. Tad, cut it out. Simmer down, Sam. Now, what in the world is this fuss all about? Them two low-down skunks cheated me out of a bottle of whiskey and $10. That's what it's all about. Why, well, never done seen you. Boys. Give the man his $10. Paul, I ain't got I it. I said give the man his $10. You smell like a skunk. Oh! Go help your mother. I don't like him. Get. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that right now. I'm uh, sorry about the drink. I'm sorry about the trouble. Wouldn't have been no trouble if you no back to work. It's a pitiful thing a man can't protect his own food. Boys? Boys? Wait in the Surrey. You know, uh, this place used to be mine. Kind of like to have it back. Of course, it don't look like much now. Take a lot of money and a lot of time to make it practical. If you're interested in selling, I'll give you a top dollar. What do you say, Mr. Cole? Cash on the barrel head. Well, thanks for the offer, just to say, Mr. Curry, but I'm just not interested. I haven't got a lot of money, but I certainly got a lot of time. Yeah, maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Cal says you've been looking for him. I'm Cass Doughty. Cass Doughty? Hey, I heard about you. Man or animal makes no difference. If there's a reward, you bring him in. <laughs> Well, let's sit a while, Mr. Doughty, so I can explain what you're up against. Sit right here. Well, howdy, Angie. Hello, Wilhelmina. What can I do for you? I need me some peace goods. Maybe a new dress will give my spirits a lift. Never fails. Say, I've got me a new 
folk, a calico that I think's got a real chick look to it. Good to see you again, Angie. What are you doing here, Cass? Well, ma'am, I'm here to kill me a bear. How's Big Jim, Angie? You stay away from him. You're in my bed, ma'am. I, uh, gather you don't think too much of Jim Cole. You gather wrong. He's a good man. Don't ever underestimate him. Well, let me say, uh, I gather you and Jim Cole aren't exactly on uh, handshaking terms. No, you got the right. I'll make the reward $1,000 if you can get that bear before Jim can. Why? I don't think that matters. I think it does. Without that reward, Jim will lose everything he owns. Everything. You got yourself a bear. Like some information. Who knows most about that bear? <laughs> Jim Cole. That's good. That's real good. Angela, Angela, beautiful name. The glow of your smile puts the sunset to shame. Angela, Angela, beautiful sound. I dreamed of a true love, and that's what I found.